Hey there, this is Mickey 3193 and in this video what I'm going to be doing is taking this one apart. This is the um, flying bug and it's in need of a bit of TLC so this is going to be my first restoration piece. Uh, I'm going to take it apart now, have a look at it. Quite interesting, uh, interested to see what was actually making this one up because we've got the grey plastic in the windows, we've got the yellow plastic on the rockets, obviously got his face in there. Um, be interesting to see how his helmet, whether that's going to be another little bit of it or if it's going to be just held in somehow. Um, obviously, you got your body and the base, so it's made up of quite a lot of components. Um, not sure what I'll do with the base because it's Looks a bit corroded, so I don't know if I'll just clean up with um, a little wire attachment on the Dremel, whether that should work on that, a bit of polish. Um, any tips out there, we more than welcome. Also, we'll just shine up. I think that, I'm not sure, I'm sure I'll find out how to take it off, I think that might just be just plastic, but it feels it. Uh, and then I will be recreating the sticker as well on the front. That's kind of nice, I've actually got a little Volkswagen logo on that, that's pretty cool. Um, and obviously I have to get these bits straightened back out. So all there is. Gone for a smaller drill bit than normal because this one's got quite a small rivet on the bottom. It's a lot smaller than the Hot Wheels ones. So I'll set to change up so we don't end up just ripping it to bits. So, so let's get straight into it. As again, I'm not sure what size, none of these are marked up with a size. So we'll try to give this one a try. Actually, feel quite soft. Um, the metal seems a lot softer than the Hot Wheels. There's no pressure on that all, and that's gone quite a way into it. And any further than that, I'd be through the would have been coming up through the hood. Um, I don't think that's going to do it, but we'll, we'll have a look. Nope, not quite. See us slightly. Just use this one just to try and trim the top edge with that rivet. Just to free it up. No real pressure, just so it sits on top. Don't want to put any pressure on it because I'll just end up eating into the base. Just want to try and clean that top of that rivet off. And there we go, that's come away perfectly. And straight away the helmet's popped off. So the helmet just appears to be held in by the fact it's pinned under the edge of there with his head. So That's the little helmet, little plastic helmet. And then we have the chassis piece. We 
your skin coloured plastic piece and now we've got another couple of rivets that are going to have to come out um, if I can get the back wheels out without taking them rivets off I will leave this because I can clean this up without all I want to do is straighten up the wheels on the back I'm not going to replace them because the front ones are fine I don't really have anything to replace them with I want to keep the original wheels so if that plastic will lift up enough just to let the back wheel come out I'll take it out, straighten it up and put it back in um, you just need a bit of a clean would be tempted to paint that moustache but I don't want to spoil it from the original and now let's have a look at the the body and that's the window piece dropping out just needs a good, good wipe down and a clean sure. grey window piece and then we have your two engine pieces which are just again slotted on there just going to slide out and once again I just did a little just a little clean up nothing else um, the actual wing on the back is actually riveted in you can see the rivets in there so if you really wanted to you could pop it off and give it a clean um, you could even if you have a few of these pop that off take this piece out and create yourself a beetle if you took all that interior out but yeah I'm not going to take that off I don't, I don't think I need to um, it may cause slight problems getting the paint off around here but I'm sure a bit of paint stripping away a brush will get that sorted out um, so that's what's next for this this will be going into the stripper, getting stripped off. Um, it's a little yellow along that edge. Maybe that's just what it's been battered against. So whether this has a yellow primer. Yeah, this looks like it's had a yellow. It must have primed him in a yellow colour. There's a lot of yellow on the thread. <coughs> but yeah, we'll get that in the stripper. And then we'll get it all polished up, get it all cleaned and I'll look at getting, picking up another paint and see how close we can match to this and as I say get his back wheels straightened up and it should hopefully just be a case of getting it put back together but yeah so that's the um, flying bug split thanks for watching flies thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you later So this is the, the body, all stripped, I just took a bit of doing, um, I gave it a normal 20 minutes in the stripper and it didn't really touch it. So I just basically used a wire brush just to break the surface because like I said there was the red paint and there was a yellow undercoat um, and I've left it overnight and it's come off nice and easy. I'm um, just give it a little quick clean up with a wire brush and a wash, some soap and it's looking pretty good so a couple of bits there I just need to get out um, a couple of dark marks just there and there and a little bit on this front wing um, let's just straighten this up but yeah that's how it's looking so far so I'm going to get this put together with the video get it posted up and then I will go on to, um, I'll have to go out and find myself whatever colour to match up. Um, I maybe should have went out and got a colour that matched up before actually stripping the paint off, but I've got pictures of it anyway, so, yep. So, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and thanks for watching.